the understanding of the fact that this virus causes cancer um, has come with a, a very interesting observation then that if you indeed could prevent the infection with the vaccine, then you could prevent cancer. Mm -hmm. So most of the time, the vaccines that we have and that we've studied and, and we've developed and people get are vaccines to prevent infections. So this is, is actually a vaccine to prevent infection, but the ultimate goal is to prevent infections that lead to cancer. Well, I think this vaccine has been surrounded with a lot of controversy or concern or discussion. And I think people are, are concerned. Um, they, they sort of say, well, why should my daughter or why should my son get a vaccine for a sexually transmitted disease before they're sexually active? And so that's sort of the question, but I think that we, we get a, a lot of vaccines before we come in contact with the, with the infection. And that's basically the goal, and is, is to be immunized before you come in contact with the virus. We also know that there are data that suggest that, that just getting this vaccine you know, doesn't turn your daughter or son into someone who is, is a, a immediately sexually promiscuous. In fact, if you look at the data, there are no differences in, in sexual behavior in people that are vaccinated and unvaccinated. So, so I think that part of the problem is that, that this vaccine needs to be looked at as another vaccine for a prevention of infection and cancer, and that the physician needs to, you know, to explain what it is, to also explain that it's been ex very extensively tested and it's found to be safe and and um, and that that uh, if indeed we can give something in adolescence that prevents cancer as as an adult then that's really a good thing No, I think that one of the problems is is that we wouldn't anticipate I, I guess that, that could this be like smallpox? We eliminate, you know, HPV, and so that everybody wouldn't have to be vaccinated. And I think that's highly unlikely. It, it uh, HPV is such a common virus, and there are a number of serotypes, and and it so commonly infects people. Very large percentages of individuals. So, so it would be hard for me to believe that we could eliminate um, it, and so that no one would have to be vaccinated. I think